it's a different world and the public is demanding us to be well trained even before we get into the operating room. Tissue away too, there you go. My name is Dr. James Rutka. I'm the chair of the Department of Surgery at the University of Toronto. I can remember the anxiety I had doing my very first operation. If I had this tool available to me, I would have practiced on it for hours and hours before going to the operating room. The NeuroTouch device is the first of its kind in terms of neurosurgical simulators. A surgeon looks through oculars as though it were a microscope, and the surgeon sees the image of the brain and the lesions in the brain, in this particular case, a brain tumor, and then allows the surgeon to manipulate the tumor and to remove the tumor, practicing all the while before going to the operating room. We're making this now a part of the regular curriculum. The main models are brain tumor models for the NeuroTouch device, but there's also a model that's used for treating a condition known as hydrocephalus. In addition, there's an opportunity to learn how to control bleeding. And if the bleeding were to get out of hand, that's when you would bring in the cautery device. The engineers at the National Research Council of Canada have improved the software, making it feel even more realistic. How does it feel to you? If you make a mistake, the good news is that the patient doesn't die. You still have an opportunity to practice your skills. I think for the future of this type of simulation, we will see even more models of how to do brain surgery. Imagine if you could take your patient's scan the night before surgery, load all of that information into the NeuroTouch apparatus, and then practice on how to remove your patient's tumor prior to the surgery. That would be the ultimate goal.